Hello. Welcome everyone to the first lecture of module 2. The theme is text plagiarism from its understanding to detection. So, let's get started. The thinkable question is, what is text plagiarism? What do you think? Text plagiarism is defined as unauthorized use of others' language and text. This means incorporating others' text materials in own paper without proper acknowledgement. Text plagiarism is a narrower sense of whole plagiarism context where the plagiarist copies only the text portion of others and incorporates it into own paper without attribution. This is also called as textual plagiarism. Do you think what are included as text plagiarism? Let's see. Using others' idea, opinion, or thought, and transforming those into text, and incorporating transformed text into own works without acknowledgement. This means, plagiarist incorporates others' idea, opinion, and thought in text format without giving any credit. Using others' spoken words, or any speech, and incorporating those as text without proper acknowledgement. The plagiarist converts others' speech to text format, and incorporates it into own work without attribution. Using others' written words, or written materials without proper attribution. Means, copying others' text, and presenting those as your own. Translating someone else's work into other language, and incorporating translated text into own work without acknowledgement. This means, the plagiarist translates others' written works, and present that as their own. These are the different scenario of text plagiarism. In order to avoid text plagiarism, you have to acknowledge properly. Now, move towards the detection methods of text plagiarism. The first type of plagiarism detection method is manual detection. Before to the digital world, the examiner or teacher checks the written document manually, one by one. That's why the manual detection is also called as human detection. Here, the most important thing that considered is the involvement of human beings. That means, human interaction must be present, in order to detect plagiarism in manual detection. This kind of detection involves pure human interaction. Apart from this, manual detection is mostly suitable for checking small task, or assignment. Also, manual detection is a time-taking process, because a lot of human effort is required to carry out the detection process. To overcome the time delay of detection, the second type of plagiarism detection method that is, automatic detection, came into existence. The automatic detection is also called as, computer-assisted detection, because here the computer machine do all the jobs. In automatic detection, computer interaction is required, because all the electronic software works via computer system. Less human effort is required in this process. It is suitable for small as well as large document file. Another thing is that automatic detection is short time process, means within a period of short time interval, it checks the originality of a document. Plagiarism detection tools detects plagiarized contents in a written document. In other words, plagiarism detection tools check the originality of a document. Here, I will explain mainly three important things. Firstly, I will describe a brief understanding about working mechanism of plagiarism detection tools. Secondly, I will sketch the picture of different plagiarism detection tools available in the scholar market. And finally, I will explain the merits and demerits of plagiarism detection tools. So, let's understand it. Let's discuss something about working mechanism of automatic plagiarism detection tools. The detection process is very much simple, but in reality it is a complex one. It involves only three steps. First, you have to upload your soft copy of the document in the application window of the plagiarism detection tools. In the second step, the plagiarism detection tools check your document for plagiarized contents. And after checking, it will give you a summary report as outcome in third step. The report is called as, Similarity Index Report, or, Originality Report. Let's discuss each steps individually in brief. First one is, Uploading of paper, which needs to be checked for plagiarism. The uploaded paper must fulfill certain criteria, in order to support the plagiarism detection tool. The first criteria is that, the paper must be machine compatible. Means, each uploaded paper should be a soft copy, not the hard copy. The second criteria is that, the paper must be a supported file format. 
Most of the plagiarism detection tools accept variety of file format, such as portable document format, Microsoft Word documents, open office document, PowerPoint file, plain text file, rich text format file, and HTML file. Some plagiarism detection tool may extend to support other file format. But these file format are globally supported by plagiarism detection system. This two criteria must be fulfilled in order to meet the need of plagiarism detection tool. Next move to the second step that is software interface. Here, the plagiarism detection tool detects the plagiarized contents in the uploaded document. Mostly, the plagiarism detection tool employ three-stage detection process involving external detection, internal detection, and post-processing. In the first stage, external plagiarism detection tool compare the submitted document with the reference collection of software database. The reference documents are a set of genuine documents. Some reference documents are a large collection of paper, thesis, web post, web link etc. and some are algorithmically modeled by the software system. These reference documents are present inside the software database. This comparison yields a threshold value above which the submitted document has a high similarity and below the threshold value the submitted document has a low similarity. Fingerprinting is largely followed in the external detection stage. In the second stage intrinsic plagiarism detection tool statistically examine stylometry of submitted paper. Stylometry is the linguistic features of written text. In this step the submitted paper is not compares with other documents Rather plagiarism detection tool follows advanced computer algorithms to detect potential plagiarism. In the third stage, plagiarism detection tool apply post processing procedures to eliminate false positives. The post processing procedure is domain specific and knowledge based techniques. So, your question is, what is false positive? All right, I am answering. All the plagiarism detection tools are algorithm driven system. Sometimes these tools reflects high similarity score but these results does not necessarily prove the submitted paper is highly plagiarized Conversely low similarity score or zero score does not necessarily prove the submitted paper is free from plagiarism Such counter cases are called false positive To eliminate false positive the plagiarism detection tool employ post processing stage Although these tools take required action to remove such case but human interaction is necessarily required to detect such conclusion Now focus on each single step of detection The first method is search technology Suppose in Google search engine I search for the word university Then the search engine display millions of contents related to university from its database Just like this plagiarism detection tools uses search technology to find plagiarized content in the document. The second method is content comparison algorithms. The associated algorithm in the plagiarism detection tool matches the contents of the paper with the contents of the database to find the similarity. Different plagiarism detection tools uses different algorithms to find similarity. All plagiarism detection tools are not same. under this the first aspect is keyword analysis suppose your paper associated with the keyword artificial intelligence in google search engine if you search for the keyword artificial intelligence then the search engine scan the database to find respective contents of the word and display millions of contents just like search engine the plagiarism detection tools apply such methods to find similarity the second aspect under this is word group search In this case instead of searching individual words the software looks for sequences of words or strings the software arrange the words in such a way that the arranged words formed a sentence or fragment of sentence suppose consider an example the demand of artificial intelligence is increasing day by day in our electronic world in this sentence the software arrange the words and search the string in the database The combination may be like this demand of artificial intelligence or artificial intelligence is increasing day by day or demand of artificial intelligence is increasing day by day in electronic world like this in place of whole sentence the software search sentence fragments the next aspect under this is word for word matching in this case the plagiarism detection tool checks word by word for any plagiarized contents in the document 
Consider the same example, the demand of artificial intelligence is increasing day by day in our electronic world. Here, the software checks every word for plagiarism. Very common words like articles, a, and, the, conjunction like, and, but, etc. are not checked. Next aspect is, fingerprint. In this case the software scans, and identifies the unique fragments and ordering of word fragments that appear in a document. Fingerprints are entirely unique for each document. Each document has unique features such as, style, phrasing, etc. Let's consider an example. I have one of my published research paper. This research paper is published by Journal of Information Studies and Technology from Hamid bin Khalifa University Press, Qatar. Here, I will show you a simple unique fingerprint that is, style. This is one of the extrinsic fingerprinting. Suppose, I want to copy first two sentences from introduction section. Firstly, I am creating a document in word processor, and writing these two sentences. You can see here, the font style is, Times New Roman, and the font size is, 12. Here, you can see the color of text as, pure black. Now, I simply copy, and paste these two sentences from this paper. After copy-paste, you can see the difference. Here, suddenly the font style is changed to, Meta Pro Lite, and the font size is, 9.5. If you analyze the customized written text, and copy-paste text, you may note several changing feature. If you submit such document, then it must come under plagiarism. Such style feature analysis are extrinsic fingerprinting. In case of intrinsic fingerprinting, the plagiarism detection tool detects suspicious text through, substring segmentation, fingerprint resolution, etc. Next comes to, stylometry. Stylometry employs statistical algorithms to analyze the writing style of submitted paper. Linguistic feature, syntactic feature, structural feature, etc. are analyzed in stylometry. Then move to the third step, that is, similarity index report. By encountering similar contents in the database, the plagiarism detection tool marks the plagiarized phrases, or words, or sentences, and generates a report that highlights the content matches. The generated report is called, Similarity Index Report, or, Originality Report. The report show the similarity of the document. Means, percentage of matching with other document. The report tells, how much text that has been found in other sources. This is not an estimation value of plagiarism, rather it's a value of similarity. Most of you may be think that, plagiarism detection tool checks plagiarism. But in reality, it does not check plagiarism, rather it checks similarity. We interpret that percentage of similarity as plagiarized content. Let's discuss a little bit about, available plagiarism detection tools in scholar market. Wide variety of available tools can be classified as, paid and free. The paid plagiarism detection tools offers individual service as well as institutional service. If you want for personal use, then you have to pay for the service. But if you are a student, or a research scholar, then your institution have the plagiarism detection tool. You don't have to pay any separate money for institutional service. Your institution bears all the cost. Another thing, the paid one is quite risk-free, because you have the options to remove your contents from their database as long as you finish checking. Only the similarity index report is stored in your account until you delete that. And also, the paid one provide good accuracy towards similarity, because of its large database, and connection with large area of scholar base. Whereas, in case of free service, anyone can use it free of cost, but it's quite risky, because whether it remove your content or not, you don't know about it. Many free service claim that, they have large database, but in truth they don't associate it with the large database. Due to this, they reflect a poor accuracy on the similarity checking. Question may arises in your mind that, can software automatically detect plagiarism? This query could leads you to confusion. Here, I am going to discuss the test results from, HTW University of Applied Sciences, Berlin. A group of researcher, led by Professor Deborah Weber-Wolf, conducted a series of tests on plagiarism detection tools available in the market. This test is known as plagiarism detection system test. They tested 28 systems, but unfortunately only 15 systems were able to complete the test. These tests being conducted periodically in respective years.
The result of this test is in front of you. Let's see. Out of 28, only 3 system tools are partially useful for plagiarism detection. These are Orkun, Turnitin, and Copyscape. And only 8 tools are marginally useful for plagiarism detection. These systems are Aferas, Plag Aware, Strike Plagiarism, Plag Scan, Compilato, Plagiarism Detect, Dockerlock, and Duplicheca. And 4 are useless for academic purpose. That are Plag Tracker, Plagiarism, Open Access Plagiarism Search, and Plagiarism Finder. Some systems are not tested. They are listed here. You can read the complete test result from description link. From my personal viewpoint, you can use Turnitin and Authenticate, as both of the plagiarism detection tools are made available by iParadigms, and both users same database for plagiarism detection. Then discuss a little bit about, merits and demerits of plagiarism detection tools. The plagiarism detection tools checks textual plagiarism. Some may extends to check source code plagiarism, or program plagiarism. Another merits of plagiarism detection tools is, multi-language support. Some plagiarism detection tools have the capability to detect multilingual plagiarism. The database size of plagiarism detection tools greatly affect the similarity score, because a resourceful database can search more as compared to resource-less database. Another term is accuracy. The accuracy of plagiarism detection tool depends on the algorithm they used, which recognizes the plagiarism, and the size of the database, with which your document is compared. Without human review, the plagiarism detection tools are not fully capable of identifying plagiarism. You can say that, these tools are semi-automated systems, not fully automated one. This is all about plagiarism detection tools. Now, let's test your learning by appearing the quizzes. You will get 10 seconds for answering each questions. Let's begin. The first question, what do you mean by similarity score? The options are, 1, it's a percentage score of plagiarized contents. 2, it's a percentage score of similar contents. 3, it's a percentage score of original contents. Your time starts now. Which one is right? The right answer is option 2. Similarity score is a score for similar contents. Next question, who could better interpret the similarity report? The options are, 1, a student, 2, a teacher, 3, an instructor, 4, a subject expert with subject knowledge. Your time starts now. Which one is right? Option 4 is correct. A subject expert can better interpret the similarity report. The subject expert may be your teacher, or your instructor, who have in-depth knowledge in your field. Next question. My uploaded paper in plagiarism detection tool is highly safe and secure. What do you think about this statement? The options are, 1, true, 2, false, 3, maybe. Your time starts now. Which one is right? The right answer is option 3. Because, the safeness and security, these factor depends upon the privacy policy and honesty of plagiarism detection tools. Next question. What is extended scoring? The options are, 1, a score denoting similarity. 2, a score denoting similarity along with different similarity perspectives. 3, none of these. Your time starts now. Which one is right? Option 2 is correct. Extended scoring is slightly different from similarity scoring. The similarity scoring shows only the overall percentage of similarity, while extended scoring shows from which area the similarity score comes. Now your homework is on the way. Do it as your own. The first assignment is, which factor affects the effectiveness and efficiency of plagiarism detection tools? What do you think? Comment below. The second one is, design an efficient algorithm model or layout for plagiarism detection, which can able to magnificently check the plagiarism. The next one is, under which case the plagiarism detection tool fails to detect plagiarism? Comment below. Thank you very much for concentrating in the entire lecture. Hope you enhance your knowledge and learning.